Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be kind of cool, kind of different. We're in my garage, as you can see, and today's video is all about what's in this box. So what's in the box? We have Orma Shield liquid nano coating. We have a applicator, some instructions, a sticker. We'll put that onto the toolbox in a second. A very soft microfiber, actually a couple of them, three of them, and a glove. So full disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Avalon King. So what is it? It's a liquid nano coating, a small layer between the paint and the environment which helps water and dirt and debris not actually hit your paint. Wax kind of like has a small protective layer too, but it's like wax on steroids. It's actually called a nano coating. So you see those cool videos where water just runs off of it? Well, we're gonna do that on my motorcycle, but first we have to prep, clean, and then install this product. Let's get to it. So to prep this motorcycle, I'm going to take off the side blade and start on the tank. So let's take this puppy off. There we go. There's a side blade removed. This bike's already being cleaned. We just need to wipe away the dust, a little bit of dust specks, and then we need to prep the surface. I'm also gonna remove the tank piece here as well, because it is plastic. Don't want that getting uh, in the way either for our coating. Here's all my cleaning supplies. We're gonna reach in the back here. HD Cleanse, it's basically a pre-wax cleaner, it removes the old stuff, so I'm gonna do a pre-wax clean. You don't have to, but I'm going to. Pre-wax and then isopropyl alcohol just to get all the fingerprints and crap off so that the surface is really prepped. And then I'm also probably gonna do a clay bar. There we go. So clay bar removes small contaminants and whatnot, so. Let's do the pre-wax, the clay bar, and then we'll get to the installation. I wanna blast some music, boys and girls. Time for cinematic roll. the entire bike now well what else can I really do with the entire bike I had the tank done uh, I don't have the hips anymore on the back of the bike so I just have the tank to do and ceramic coat and also the front blades right here but I have the bike now completely um, cleansed or the wax removed with the uh, pre wax cleaner and now I'm going to do a clay bar uh, even for new bikes or old bikes, I would do the process start to finish. You don't know what the dealer did or didn't do, what's on the paint, what it's prepped with, could be have wax or whatever. You want everything stripped as best as you can to make sure the product lasts for as long as I can by actually adhering to the clear coat. So always prep. Prepping is key with anything, painting, cleaning, waxing, detailing. You always have to prep your surface. So clay barring so simple, light spray of a detailer. And you just gently move the clay bar. I had to go straight lines. I don't know, maybe circles causes swirl marks, but then you can create straight scratches or so whatever. Just gently, and there should be nothing on here because this bike was just recently detailed by my buddy, the homie Kelvin. He did a polish, so I'm gonna skip the polishing step before I ceramic coat because we did it just last month. So polishing, as you know, removes fine scratches in the clear coat. There we go. See if you can focus on the camera here. That right there is some contaminants. So cleaning the bike and then doing a pre-wax clean, it still missed this. And that's super important to get rid of. And guys, I just took care of my bike like last month. 
with doing a clay bar and a clean and a wax and a polish and everything and look what it just got so like i said always prep your surface no matter what so both of these now are done we'll get fresh ones always have a copious amount of microfibers always you can never have too many there we go let's let her dry up and we'll go to the next step whenever you work down by your front rotors or your rear rotor whenever you go out for the first ride be very very careful i do a couple of laps around the block just to get the crap off the disc so i sprayed some detailer when i was clay barring and i know what's on my front rotor so you just have to be very very careful for your first ride like i said do a couple laps and uh it should be good to get that stuff off the disc and then uh, you won't have any issues because when you go riding you'll find that the first few times you try to stop you'll have no brakes it'll just feel like nothing's there here's the next step take the applicator and wrap a microfiber around it just like so i did it nice and tight like this and then take your armor shield and put three to four drops on here and then do a very thin coat small sections so you can actually get to it and uh, just cover the vehicle in this case a motorcycle so to make sure you're getting the whole vehicle up and down vertical and horizontal and with all the body lines of this bike because it's so like not curvy it's very sharp makes it a little more difficult and then when you're feeling this get dry you can always add a little more but in this case i'm just going to keep on going making sure there's no high spots so if you're applying it and you see like you can actually see a high spot or like a buildup of material you have to keep on working it so here you can see a high spot for sure you can see where there's material and no material So we'll keep on going, keep on coating. Once you've got a small layer on the bike, let it sit for one to five minutes and then gently buff it off and that's when we're gonna inspect it. So for a motorcycle, the application is forever easy. For a car, I suspect you're gonna take a little bit more time. We'll come back in five minutes and buff it off. Now, one of the most important parts is to check for any material being high, if that makes sense. So let's just jack up the light here. So if we can look in the paint, it's so hard to see on camera. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect. This bike is old, but you're trying to find any high spots using a flashlight or what have you. So I don't see any high spot. Oh, there's one right there. You can just see it. it looks like a fingerprint kind of. It's really hard to see on camera, but it, it'll be like a little like high spot, a little excess. So we need to make sure we buff that out. If we can't get it out, we just add a little bit more and we're able to take it out. So let's buff. So we're going to grab the Avalon King microfiber. Oh man, this is overexposed. Let me turn that down. There you go, boys and girls. So there's the microfiber. Take this puppy over to the bike all oh, that shot there cinematic and it will just slowly lightly buff it and i'll be back in a minute oh yeah you can really feel it keep folding the rag over get a fresh spot oh man she looks beautiful in that light oh my goodness so versus my other ceramic coating products very similar installation it's very easy guys don't be scared because it's something different something new ceramic you know try it out man like it's look at that it's so easy to install this side i did a little bit later so i'm going to wait one more minute for it to cure let's wrap this video up now i've lightly buffed the bike so it's looking just perfect it's so smooth like a glass like finish and that's how you ceramic coat a motorcycle. If it's properly done, it should last, um, as I'm told, two to five years. And uh, we just, with basic maintenance and care, it will, it'll just keep on looking good. Uh, when you wash and clean your bike, it'll be much easier and things won't stick to it as much. Um, so it's kind of like a, 
nice coating. So I can't wait to do a long-term test on it. I might even go and do some of the frame, but we'll, we'll see how it works because that is a painted surface. So click the link below and you'll be able to get uh, 25 bucks off. And don't forget, one bottle is enough for a motorcycle. You could probably even do two or three bikes if it depends on how much plastics you have. And so far, guys, I love it. Um, it's, it's like a glass-like finish. So thanks so much for Avalon King for sponsoring this video. Everyone, click the link below, support my channel, and uh, grab yourself a bottle, and let me know how it went for you. I'll update you guys in the next week or so to see how uh, a long-term test is. I'm now back in the garage. It's four or five days after the initial application. Here is a fresh microfiber. You can see it's like a microfiber. And check this out. The coating has now dried and you can see it's like, it's really weird. You, it, you feel the coating on the microfiber. And it's, as you can see, it's rigid look. The microfiber is, is hard in the middle. That's where the coating was. And this piece too. You can kind of see how it folds over itself. It's really weird. This this middle piece has the coating on it, and it's made it like like solid. It's really weird. You can see it on the camera there. We're gonna test some water now on the actual coating. So we're gonna take this water and pour it on the bike, and we'll see what's gonna happen. Let's check it out. That is insane, absolutely insane. Let's get this towel here. Absolutely dry. The water just runs right off. On the side blade right here, I didn't coat it. So you can see the water sitting there. So there you go, boys and girls. I would say that's, uh, I'm really, really impressed. My friends walked by my bike the other day, they're like, wow, did you clean it again? Because it actually looks really, really shiny. So guys, I color me impressed, color me impressed. Here, just for this, let's put some on my car. You can see it not run off. My car is not coated, so this is what happens to a car that's not coated. See how the water just stays on it? Maybe I should coat my car next. Look at that, see how the water just stays all down the side? The bike doesn't have that. That's crazy.